In this tutorial, I will show you how to import data from Google Sheets into Monday. To do this, we have two options. We can create a new board based on the imported data or import data into an existing board. In this video, we'll explore both these options. Before we begin, please take into account that only the data from the first tab of the spreadsheet will be imported into Monday during the import process and the limit for importing data is 50 columns and 8,000 rows at a time. New board based on the imported data. Google Drive method. Let's start with how to create a new board in Monday based on the data from Google Sheets. Initially, you need to go to the workspace where you want to add the new board. Then, click on your account and select Import Data. There are two ways to import data from Google Sheets. The first method is to connect your Google Drive through monday.com and then select the Google Sheets file you want to import. The second method involves exporting the file from Google Sheets and then importing it into monday.com. Let's start with the first method. Notice that I am currently using the web version of Monday. If you are using the Monday desktop app, the following instructions may not work. So I recommend you switch to the web version of Monday while importing the files from Google Drive. To get started, click on your account and select Import Data. Then choose Google Sheets. Click on the Click to Browse button and click Sign In. Choose which account you want to use or log into the other account. And now I have access to my Google Drive through Monday.com. Now if you want to change the Google Drive account, you have the option switch account right here. From the list of files, choose the spreadsheet file you want to import into monday.com. After selecting the file, click let's customize your new board. Now select how the data from our file should be arranged in Monday. Initially, we need to select a row from the spreadsheet from which the data will become the column names on the Monday board. Then select which columns data should be used to set the names of items on our board. In this case, it is a sample client list. So I choose names and surnames as the item name. Finally, adjust the type of each column, which means choosing the functionality that a particular column will have. You can select a type for a particular column by clicking on the blue arrow next to its name. If we don't see a specific type from the list of options, we simply leave the column as text. After creating the board, you will be able to change the type of column. The difference being that you will then have more types of columns to choose from. When everything is set correctly, click Create Board. As you can see, the board has been created, and now you can change the types of columns if you need to. If you are a new user of Monday and not yet fully familiar with all of its features and the platform as a whole, I encourage you to watch our Monday Beginner's Guide. It's a free video guide in which we go through the essential elements and features on Monday.com. It will give you a general idea of what you can do with Monday and how to set up and use your Monday account. To get our Monday Beginner's Guide, click on the link in the description of this video, and it will direct you to our website where you can access the guide for free. New board based on the imported data. Exported file method. When it comes to the second method of creating new boards based on imported data, here's how it goes. We go to our Google Drive and export our file in .xlsx format. Next, we go to the workspace in Monday where you want to add the new board. Then, select Import Data. This time, we click Excel. Now drag or select an Excel file from your computer. Click Let's customize your new board. Then, we proceed in the same way as in the previous method, which means we need to select a row from the spreadsheet from which the data will become the column names on the Monday board. Then, we select which column's data should be used to set the names of items on our board. We select the appropriate column type. Just like in the previous method, if there is no type that fits a particular column among the available options, set the type as text for now. After creating the board, you will be able to change the column type, with more types of columns available for selection. When everything is set correctly, click Create Board. As you can see, the board has been created, and now you can change the types of columns if you need to. Import data into an existing board. Okay. So now I will show you how to import data into Monday if you already have a board and simply want to add new items to it. Initially, we need to go to our Google Sheets file and download the file in .xlsx, .csv, or .xls format. Go to the board in Monday where you want to add new items. Click on the arrow next to the New Item button and choose Import Items. Now drag or select the previously downloaded file and click Next. Then we select which columns data should be used to set the names of items on our board. In this case, it is a sample client list. 
so I choose the column with names and surnames. Now we have to map the columns from Excel to the columns in this board, which means we have to choose which column from our spreadsheet should correspond to which column in our board in Monday. Notice that unmapped columns will not be imported, which means that data from the column that has not been assigned to any column in Monday will not be imported. Here we have the option Exclude First Row of Spreadsheet from Import. If we select this, the first row containing any content in our spreadsheet will not be imported as data into Monday. If we uncheck this, the first row containing any content in our spreadsheet will be imported as data into Monday. In this case, the first row with content in the spreadsheet file contains the names of the individual columns. So I don't want these names to be imported as data. So I will select this option. In the next step, we choose what to do with duplicated items. We have three options. The first one, create new items, will simply import all your records from the spreadsheet into Monday. If some records are duplicates of items that already exist on the board in Monday, those records will still be imported. The second option, skip items, means that if a record from your spreadsheet is classified as a duplicate of an item on the Monday board, this record will be skipped during import. We can select based on which column Monday should decide whether a record is a duplicate. For example, if I choose the email column and the email of one of the records in the spreadsheet is the same as an email that has already been entered into my Monday board, then this record will be skipped during import. The third option, overwrite existing items, means that if a record from your spreadsheet is classified as a duplicate of an item on the Monday board, this item will be overwritten. It means that the items data in monday.com will be replaced with the records data from the spreadsheet. Here, we can select based on which column Monday should decide whether a record is a duplicate. In this case, we will simply select Create New Items, which will result in all the records from the spreadsheet being imported into our Monday.com board, even if some records are duplicates of items that already exist on the board. Click Start Import. As you can see, a new group has been created on our board, which contains the imported records from the Google Sheets spreadsheet. Now, if it's needed, we can move items from this group to other groups on our board. Bonus tip. One bonus tip. If you just want to add a few new items to Monday.com and skip the file import process, you can do so in the following way. In this spreadsheet, select the cells containing the data that you want to add as new items on the Monday board and copy. Go to Monday, click Add Item, and Paste. Now you can simply enter the data for these items. If you have data in a text document, you can also add it to the board in this way. Just ensure that each piece of data you want as an item name is on a separate line in the text document. Okay, before we finish, we've got something for you. If you are a new user of Monday and not yet fully familiar with all of its features and the platform as a whole, I encourage you to watch our Monday Beginner's Guide. It's a free video guide in which we go through the essential elements and features on Monday.com. It will give you a general idea of what you can do with Monday and how to set up and use your Monday account. To get our Monday Beginner's Guide, click on the link in the description of this video, and it will direct you to our website where you can access the guide for free.